There we go. All right, we are recording. So yes. uh, welcome, it is June 30th, and can you believe we're over halfway through the year? That's just crazy. No. No. Um, so for those of you watching the replay, um, sure. it's Ann and I tonight, we are hosting and doing the Oily <laughs> Fireside Chat. Uh, Rose had a rough weekend and Janelle's working, so it's just just Ann and I, but it's fun. We've got lots to talk about. We've been talking for the last 10, 15 minutes about good stories, good stuff, mm -hmm. and we've got some exciting announcements, each of us, that are coming up in July, and so we're just going to chat with you for a few minutes about stuff. So, awesome. Ann, do you want to start? I would love to start. I would love to start. So, I think, I think Tessa is a little bit more excited about my announcement for the month of July than probably anybody else is. So I've dedicated the month of July as Christmas in July. I mean, who doesn't love Christmas? I so, so it's going to encompass, um, you know, essential oil highlights every day, um, like uses of different products. Um, throughout the month, there'll be prizes, mm -hmm. prizes, um, you know, there'll just be a whole bunch of different things that not just, you know, newbies are, will be um, able to grab, but also those that have been avid oil users um, for a while. So, so I'm pretty excited to, to offer this, um, this upcoming month. Um, it's time to just kind of get Get our groove on and i want to be able to um encourage others and bring smiles to people's faces um yeah it's nice to get a surprise in the mail every once in a while well um, you always bring smiles to my face man oh thank you tessa um so i'm i'm super excited about you know christmas in july and so i thought i would start off by just highlighting one of the newest essential oils that came out um, during Young Living Convention um, a couple weeks ago. And it is called One Heart. And it is, oh, the most heavenly smelling oil ever. Um, I couldn't wait. When I opened the box, I opened it up right away and I was like, oh, this is great. So immediately, um, I have a number of diffusers in my home, uh, throughout my home, upstairs, downstairs, probably every room. My husband says I'm a little bit um, OCD when it comes to how many diffusers I have, but I, I do not agree with that. I could use a couple more. Um, so I immediately started to diffuse this oil and it is, I, I, I can't even describe it. Uh, it. It is the most calming, uplifting, oil um, that I, I, I probably have ever smelled. I mean, it is just beautiful. Um, so that's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, the other couple of things that I wanna bring um, tonight is I've been, recently I've been doing, not really a diet, but just kind of revamping, revamping my diet. I'm a runner. And um, I mean, I, I'm very active. And what I've noticed as I've begun to age is that, you know, I had a great amount of stiffness, even after stretching after runs and, and stuff, I was still really, really stiff. So I decided to do a little research and have found that uh, women my age, I'm almost 53, for those who want to know, <laughs> um, you know, we, we begin to, number one, our metabolism starts to really slow down a little bit. So I am in the process of revamping that metabolism. So removing some of the things that could cause a little bit of mm, inflammation, making my body feel a little bit more bloated and, and just not very comfortable. Um, and it's been very successful thus far. And I've been trying out a lot of different like protein shakes. And one of the ones that I have done this last week is was a chocolate mint protein shake. And so I'm like, hmm, I don't, it called for mint leaves and I didn't have any on hand. So I'm like, what could I do? What could I do? And I remember I'm like, oh, well I have 
peppermint vitality. I could put some of that in. Now, the thing you have to be <laughs> aware of is you don't need a lot. <laughs> you only need like one drop. So I've you, made that mistake. <laughs> <laughs> as <have> I. <laughs> uh, so you you get it close enough to to you know your blender, you know, just enough to drop one in and then you just pull it away because you don't mm -hmm. want any more than that because then it's too um too overwhelming and it just isn't you're you're really, really awake by that time. Oh, yeah. uh, oh, yes. <laughs> Um, and that's just because the oils are so, are so pure that you don't need much. So a little bit goes a long way. So I've been really enjoying those shakes. Um, and then um, Tessa and I were talking before, um, before we went live tonight, and I was sharing with her that, you know, I've run thousands of miles over the last 20 years. You know, marathons, half marathons, Ema, you name it, I've done it. And so last week, um, tomorrow will mark seven days, I was out actually walking our dog and I stepped wrong on the end of a curb and kind of twisted my foot a little bit. And so I haven't been able to run um, this last week, which believe it or not, I've actually been okay with. I, I wasn't really down and out. I was like, okay, well, we just shift gears and do what I can. I mean, I took off probably four days and then um, did some other things. But another oil that actually is part of the um, premium starter kit is called Pan Away. Pan Away was my friend. Um, after I would ice my foot, I would put a little Pan Away on the bottom and on the top because there's bruises on both sides. <laughs> And it just gave such a nice cooling effect um, that it, it just made it feel so much better. It wasn't a throbbing pain or anything like that ever. It just, I, I just knew that it was there. Um, and so I, I was like very, you know, I don't use Panaway a whole lot. My, I've probably got, I don't know, three or four bottles of it. Um, I actually share it with, with other people sometimes when, you know, they've got, you know, this discomfort, this muscle discomfort, whatever. And so I'll say, here, just, just take this pan away. Um, it will be sure to um, help you out. So this was, you know, my first real deal with pan away. And I was like, oh, this is, this is some good stuff. I, I'm really enjoying this. And pan away is one of those oils that I have and I don't use much, but man, when I need it, oh, if I didn't have it, I'd be lost. Oh, tell me about it. Got good you know, stuff in there. I just, I just couldn't believe, you know, I'm like, here I am walking down the street, you know, not even a quarter mile from my home and down I go. And our dog was just wonderful though. She, she came right to my side and she sat there and looked at me like, are you okay, mom? You know, and we continued on our walk and made it home. And so, so of course, you know, these last four or five days, she's been looking at me like, are we going for a walk? <laughs> <laughs> so last night I did take her for a little one um, just because I'm like, you know, we need to get you out. But, um, and our dog also um, really loves oils. Um, I, she has her whole line of oils as well, which is kind of cool. But um, if she's, she's not really scared of thunder or anything like that, but there are times she gets a little anxious when she's in the car. So there's actually three different oils that you can just rub on their fur. Um, lavender, stress away, and peace and calming are three wonderful oils and they just kind of mellow out. And so, and then they smell good too on top of it. So, yeah, that's, so that's what I have to share. <laughs> cool. Have you been using um, lavender on your foot? Because I was reading in the Life Science Publishing Reference Guide that lavender is really good for bruising and swelling. Yep. Yep. I've actually been using using that as well. Okay. Yep. Yep. We, yeah, I thought that was interesting. I knew about the bruising, but I didn't realize for swelling as well. So I was like, oh, mm -hmm. cool. Yep. 
So, so it's just, it's really kind of cool, you know, um, because my employer, you know, she's, she's a, she's a doctor and, you know, she's like, so how's your foot today? I'm like, oh, it's doing, it's doing well. I use this oil on it. And, you know, so she's, she's getting very much educated with the oils. Um, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's always good. <laughs> At some point, she's going to join your team, and she's going to watch these replays and how often you talk about her, and it'll be like, oh, look. <laughs> well, she is like a daughter to me, so. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well so I hope I can yeah. share. Um, so, I was going to hop on tonight and talk to you guys about diffusing in the summertime, because I, so as of this November, I will be a Young Living Oiler for six years, and um, I every <laughs> do the dance. Uh, so every summer when we have the windows open and we're just letting the air breeze through the house, I'm like, okay, there's not really a point to running my diffuser because all the oils are just going to go outside, and that'll be a waste, right? Like super frugal mama, I pinch pennies everywhere, cloth diapers, cloth wipes, like I'm that kind of mama. Um, Although with Inara, it's not as much cloth diapers because Karis gets into them. But anyway, um, so I, like really penny pinching mama. So I didn't really see a point to diffusing when all the oils are just going to float outside. Well, this summer I was like, I really should try. Maybe I should diffuse some oils like maybe just at night in my bedroom or something like that. And so we had, it was like a week. And I didn't diffuse during the day because we had the windows all open um, and it was warm during the day, but then it got really cold at night. So we closed the house up. So that's why I was like, okay, we'll diffuse at night. So for like a week during the day, we were getting these like super small, like through our window screens, like lake flies or gnats or something oh. were flying in through the screens and getting, they weren't fruit flies, but they were super small flies. And they were flying in through the screens during the day. And then at night, because we keep the hall light on for the girls, and then they have a nightlight in their room, they were like swarming just outside the girls' room by that hall light. And they were swarming the nightlight in the girls' room. So they had this like colony of these tiny flies in their room. And it was gross to me. Hmm. And so I started diffusing at night. And one night in the living room, just to make it smell nice, um, because, you know, diapers pile up and stuff. Um, so I was grabbing random oils and like, what do I, what do I want to diffuse? And I grabbed peppermint and patchouli and lemon because they just smelled really nice to me. And so I threw those in the diffuser, kind of similar to Citrus Fresh if you have that blend. Um, and I threw those in there. And before I went to bed, the lake flies or gnats or whatever just totally dispersed. Like they left my house. They went... <laughs> fleeing through I don't know where they went because the windows were closed but like they they would not be in the house so like they found some way to get out so I was like what like that's literally the only thing different all week these things have been a problem and then I run my diffuser and they like flee it was like the mass exodus of flies so I did some research and peppermint has um, properties that will help you get rid of mice, moles, squirrels, and other rodents. It deters them. It also wards off ants and spiders, all aphids, beetles, fleas, and flies. And I was like, oh, look at that. It gets rid of those. And then um, I was like, okay, so the peppermint, what did the patchouli do? Because, right, patchouli is really good. So hang on. I have my notes on that one here too. Give me a moment. All right, so patchouli is really good for keeping away gnats, slugs, snails, weevils, and woolly aphids. Also, gnats are in um, the family of um, things that patchouli will get rid of. So the gnats, um, I don't know, like same category kind of as the flies or whatever. So between the patchouli and the peppermint, those, they were gone. And then the lemon also is for like flies, but those are more like the bigger flies from the research. Mm -hmm. So I don't think the lemon did much with it, but the peppermint and patchouli for sure diffusing that got rid of those tiny pests. So nice. 
diffuse in the summer as well because since I, I I took that and I was like, well, geez, I'm gonna diffuse with the windows open too because we get like spiders and we have centipedes in our basement, which annoys yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, it annoys me. Um, Luke says they eat the other bugs and I'm like, <laughs> they're bugs in my house. I don't <laughs> want them. So I've started diffusing oils all over my house, whether the windows are open or we're running the AC or the windows are closed. I just diffuse all the time and we don't have, we don't have bugs. It's really nice. So it is really nice. Diffuse in the summer, windows open or closed, AC running or off, just keep diffusing. Run the diffusers all the time because yeah. it's awesome. And it's also good to diffuse all the time because sometimes you get, you know, somebody that might just drop by your house and mm -hmm. like, we had a gentleman that had lunch with us on Sunday afternoon, and um, he was like, oh, well, what are these things over here? And he goes, and I noticed, he goes, you are not just, you know, just that person that has a couple of these essential oils, are you? I'm like, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I said, oh, no. I said, and I have, you know, I have a number of diffusers. I said, because it's, you know, what I have found is that, you know, we are, the house is so much cleaner. Mm -hmm. You're smelling. It's not that perfume, heavy, heavy laden perfume smell that yep. gives you an instant headache. It's just a nice, clean, fresh smell, no matter, really, no matter what oil, mm -hmm. the diffusers. I mean, you know, when I don't, I don't put the same oil in every diffuser. Oh, I don't either. I'm like, okay, what's this combination and this combination? You know, if I need to get a lot of things done, you know, I'm like, okay, I need some, you know, energy. So I'm going to go with the more citrusy blends and motivation. I motivation is one. I do too. Good blend. Just to kind of get, you know, things rolling. And, you know, when you have someone come into your home and they go, oh, it smells so good in here. Mm -hmm. It's like my job's done my you know? is done. <laughs> because you know because i'd much rather have them walk into a home mm -hmm. and i know i i know that i know that i know that these what they're smelling is not harmful to them exactly yep um yeah. you know like sometimes the the last time i did a really deeper cleaning for my employer she said that when they got back from their vacation, when they walked through that into the house, she her first comment was, "It smells so fresh and clean in here," and and all I had diffused was just thieves and lemon. That's all I diffused, but I cleaned with the thieves household cleaner as well. I mean, so the whole house was just, you know, all fresh and so slow. Hey, I'm slowly integrating the more natural products and saying, oh, no, you don't need to pick up any more of this. You know, I've got you covered here, you know. So I just, and especially with the two little little boys, you know, like, mm, no, they don't need to be smelling this. Yeah, I know. These icky things, you know, I'd much rather, you know, if they're going to help me, like the two-year-old, he loves to help. I'm like, sure, you want to help me use the spray bottle for the household cleaner? Sure. It's the thieves one, you know, like we diffuse. Mm -hmm. And so he was helping me clean windows today. Karis, <laughs> her new favorite thing, like besides playing outside and coloring, is taking the thieves cleaner and spraying it all over the house. So I got her her own little, like those mini Norwex Enviro oh, cloths. Oh, nice. And so she has her little Enviro cloth and she has her little thieves sprayer. And she like, like today she did all the low, the lower kitchen cabinet, all the handles on the cabinets and all the handles on the drawers. She cleaned them all. And the other day she did all the doorknobs. All the Very doorknobs cool. in the whole house. She'd spray it wipe it down, spray it, wipe it down, spray it, wipe it down. And then the other day she did all the handles in the bathroom, spray it, yeah. wipe it down, spray it. They're, wipe it down. they're never too young to learn. Oh no. And she enjoys it. I know at some point she's going to be like, cleaning is no fun. So I'm going to take full advantage <laughs> of her love of cleaning. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> 
She got a step <laughs> stool and she did a few of the light switches too. And I didn't have to ask. She just did it. Oh, very I, cool. I think she was having fun with the cloth, like as she wiped up and down the lights. Yeah. <laughs> <Not at all. laughs> <Why not? laughs> I think that was more fun than the cleaning part, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're so sweet when they want to help. And, mm -hmm. you know, and it's like, I always, I always say, you know, if they want to help, let them. Because uh, and I could never do that if I was using Walmart chemicals. I wouldn't mm -hmm. near those, but the mm -hmm. like she could drink that stuff and she'd be fine. So yeah, yeah. So so yeah, it's it's really kind of cool how you know. I just I mean I just love all these products anyway. Oh, I do too. You know the oils. I'm kind of probably a little bit over the top as far no. oils go, but. <laughs> I don't have them all yet. <laughs> I don't either. I set up my new oil shelves and Luke is like, okay, so you like have enough oils now, right? You must have them all. And I'm like, oh, no, no. I, I don't think I have half, especially now that they just released more with Grand Convention. Mm. I need more oils. <laughs> <laughs> I think myself to, um, you know, like, the oils that I will, will reward myself with as the team continues to, to grow, I'm able to help you guys grow, then I will reward myself and you, you know, as well with oils on your wish list. So we all have wish lists. And, I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's, it's one of those things that I'm like, well, I have my wish list and I know you guys have your wish list. I would probably spoil you guys first, to be honest. <laughs> well, you need to treat yourself too. You do a lot of hard work. Oh, I know, but that's just me. I I like to spoil. Yellow personality. You like to give little, gifts. Little bit. <laughs> I think I get more excited giving gifts than versus receiving them. I I'm the same way. I, I love, love giving I love getting gifts. Like that's part of my love language, but I am just ecstatic when I find the perfect thing for someone and I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. I'm like, just wait until you open this. I know. <laughs> yeah. You know, and they're like, whoa. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so yeah, so that's that's all I have this week. Yeah, I was just gonna say I think Zoom's about to kick us off. So yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for chatting with me tonight, Anne. Oh, you're very welcome, Tessa. It was a pleasure. Oh. A pleasure. It's always a pleasure talking with you, too. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> well, because I love your stories. Like, you're, cause, like, you've been doing oils longer than me, so you've got all these tips and tricks that I wouldn't think of. Yeah, well, I, I try. I mean, <laughs> or tips and trips. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> that, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like the dad jokes are coming out, and I know it's like 9.30 by you, so I think you should. Yes. <laughs> I you, probably won't, though. That's the problem. You need some rest, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a good night, and we Thank will you, you too. Again next week. Yes, next week. Same time, same All place. Right. All right, sounds good. Take care. You too. Bye. Bye.